goes. Was it, in, was it at all emotional we, today uh, being we back were, in the palace? Yeah. We uh, were walking down one of the hallways today where we had been as part of the Jubilee celebrations. Uh, just before we went out to see Paddington the Bear. Uh, so it was, uh, it was a, a very uh, uh, emotional reunion for a lot of the Commonwealth representatives that were, that were there. Um, thinking very much of, uh, uh, of Her Majesty and uh, what she meant in, in, sure, writ large political and constitutional terms, but as a person uh, and the human the human qualities that the room, she uh, she stood for. There was a sense of uh, I think in the room, uh, there was a sense of history. This hasn't happened for 70 years. Who knows when it will ever happen again? Uh, first time uh, uh, many of us have experienced anything of this sort. An era is changing, so there was a lot of history going on, um, grief and 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 mourning for the loss of uh, of. Uh, a loved one, and I think everybody in that room would would uh, call the Queen a loved one, even though we're not a direct family member. Um, there was some excitement too about about uh, the new king. Um, uh, we all have a sense that we we know him quite a bit because uh, because uh, he has been the heir apparent for a very long time, longest in the history of the world, I'm told. Uh, and so he's well prepared, but you know, what kind of a king will he be? Uh, what will his priorities be? Where will he travel to first? Um, he's well traveled in Canada. We always uh, brag a little bit about Her Majesty visiting Canada 22 times, more than any other country.